we've seen how to size or calculate the volume of a CSTR which is a continuous steer tank reactor now we're going to see how to calculate the size or the volume of a plug flow reactor so once again let me show you this diagram uh, yes we have the inlet we have the outlet and a conversion and yes of course this is not a, a plug flow reactor this is a CSTR just confuse the images so don't pay attention on this now sizing uh, or calculating the volume of a PFR is a little bit more complex than the CSTR due to the integral that we need to do there's an integral or a derivative that we need to solve so this is not an algebraic calculation it's not just the base times the height as we saw before it is actually the area under the curve and as I told you before, many students say give you or I give them the this and they tell me that the volume should be the area under the curve here. And they are actually right. For PFR, it is the fact that independent of how the shape is, the area under the curve is the volume. So that will help you a lot. And normally that means we're going to do integrals. So, independent of the type of rate of reaction, we will have to calculate these areas under. Uh, in general, the areas are lower than continuous steer tank reactors. That's not always the case. Actually, we're going to see later when it's not the case. Uh, when not, uh, yes, let me show you first case. This one here, if I calculate a PFR, will be the area under this, and you know that if I use to calculate a CSTR, it will be this here also included. So you can see that this is like a waste of space if you use another reactor. This one is actually the same. The volume of a CSTR will be the same volume as a PFR due that this is actually a rectangle. So uh, let's say, we force the rectangle, so it's the same volume. And final but not least, and actually this is the only case in which the volume of a CSTR will be, let's say, large, how to say, more than that, is, whoops, wait for it, yeah, here, it's here you can see that the CSTR value will be only here this little rectangle and the PFR is wasting all this size so well not actually wasting because without it you will not be able to achieve that conversion but I mean that you could be having a reactor which does not require that so taking away this you are done you know now when are the cases but just ignore me because we're going to see that way more deeper in the next section so at the moment just continue to this problem and yeah see you in this video what's up guys it's me chemical engineering guy so if you like the video why not push the like button it really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.